I really want to go to the beach today. What's up guys? It's Michaela here. It is currently 7.30. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> it's currently 7.30 and uh, I am just now waking up. I wanted to go to an app class today but I slept in. It's at 7.30 so. That was an L. Ew. I need to go brush my teeth. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway. I'm gonna set this up as if I woke up with the camera on. So, enjoy this edit. surf disclaimer I don't but I like to go out into the ocean and sit on my surfboard as if I know how to catch a wave and uh, it's so nice I'm sure actually surfing would be nicer but you gotta I, I don't know it's scary okay it's so terrifying the water moves so fast and I've never ever ever stood up on a surfboard before but I rode on my knees I can like surf on my knees that's just cuz like it takes a lot more agility to actually stand up and when I tell you your girl is not agile at all okay <laughs> it's quite embarrassing <sighs> but <sighs> yeah Let's go. I'm not gonna do my skincare. I'm not gonna do my skincare because if I get in the ocean, it's just gonna like what's the point? I will put on sunscreen. I will put on sunscreen. Mm hmm. And uh, yeah. Come along. Hey guys, I'm on my way to the beach. I got my surfboard. Um, we're just gonna try today. We're going to do our best today this is n i am not a surfer by any means but it's just so fun and it's a beautiful day so why not why not okay i'll see you all when i get there stung by a stingray oh my god I'm okay uh, the lifeguards came and they put my foot in some hot water but there's not much else they can do for my foot <sighs> breathe breathe through the pain 
so now i just have to go home put my foot in some more hot water and then disinfect it oh my lord it hurts so bad okay this drive home is gonna be this drive home is gonna suck it was my left foot if anyone cares but we did it i didn't catch any waves i did i caught one but i didn't stand up i was just on my knees which is how i usually catch waves but that shit sucked sucked all right i'll see you guys in the next clip what's up guys so i got stung by a stingray today and because I'm going to be stuck at home for a while, I decided that this is a great opportunity to take up an old hobby. I used to sew a lot back when I was in, not high school, like my first year of college. I liked making like little sh little tops, some pants, or like, not pants, but like, like, um, what do you call them? I made those like, jean those like leggings that flare out at the bottom they were really cute i don't have any pictures to show you but i'm going to start a new project today um i'm gonna be following this tutorial right here so if you'd like to follow along check it out it's really fun all right so first let me show you my sewing machine she needs some love this is her. Can you tell how dirty she is? Like, yeah, that's disgusting. Ew, okay, pretty gross. So I'm just gonna wipe her down real fast and then I'm gonna get started. <laughs> Fresh and cool. Just what I do. Okay. Okay, so these are the sweatpants I'm gonna be using. Hold on. These are the sweatpants. They're light blue. I don't know if you can see the color because this lighting is just so weird. Okay, but that's the color. It's like a light blue color it's really pretty um first things first you have to get your thread i have a lot of thread i bought like a huge pack of it like a long time ago and i only used black so i have a lot of other colors left over these i don't know if you can see what is with this lighting? It's so bad. Oh, look. These go inside the sewing machine. Let me show you. It goes in this little compartment and you put, I'll show you, one second. You take this little guy. I don't know what he's called, but you take him and you put him right here and then um, you put the thread right there and then you hit that so it's up against this little white thing so when you hit the pedal um, it's all going to wrap around this little this little thing and then I can put that in here. And then I, and then I um, feed the rest of the thread through this little guy right here. And then around this guy, down this way, and then into the needle right there. And that's how you set it up. So I'm gonna do all that real quick and then I'll try to show you, but I need both my hands for this process. So if you miss something, 
just look it up on YouTube. You got this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you everything that you're gonna need for this project. You're going to need some sewing pins. So these are to hold the fabric in place when they're going through the sewing machine because sometimes it can move around. You're going to need one safety pin. Looks like that. And then you're gonna need some, this is six centimeter, no. This is a jewelry and craft cord. It's elastic, it's just elastic. There's like six yards of this, but I only need enough to go around my chest twice. You'll see why, okay? Now, let me show you the sewing machine setup. So it's on, you can see the little light. If you, oh, dust, you can see there are two threads. There's one coming out of the top needle and then there's one coming out of the machine. That's how you set it up. Um, so I'm gonna get started and uh, yeah, should be fun. All right, let's go. I'm going to use this little bando as a size reference for the top. Okay, so I just finished pinning the shorts. I pinned where I wanna hem them on both sides. So now we're gonna start sewing. Ready? Let's go. I'm a little nervous. I haven't done this in a really long time. So wish me luck. Excuse me. My thread broke. I have to. I don't have to start over, but I have to like re thread the needle, and that takes forever. <sighs> okay. Okay. So the shorts are done. I hemmed them. Um, you can tell that I'm not that good at this because of this part right here. <laughs> the sewing, the stitch is supposed to be like along the end of the hem and uh, I forgot. I didn't forget, I just messed up on accident. So, sue me. 
But these are the shorts. I really hope no one notices because... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we can only get better from here. On to the top. Okay, so once you have sewn the top, once you have sewn three pieces of the leg, pant, the pant part together, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm so sorry, but you're going to cut out triangles out of the pant legs and you're gonna take three of those triangles and you're gonna sew them together like this. And then you're going to hem the top. Okay, hold on. Let me not get too far ahead of myself. Um, if you actually watch the tutorial video, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you didn't, sucks. Sucks. Okay, how am I gonna do this? We start with it this way. Right side out. Right side out. And then we're gonna fold in. And we're gonna fold over like that. And then we're going to stitch along this line right here. Okay, let me pin this real fast and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we have hemmed the, the top, oh, I forgot to say, make sure you leave a little opening for the elastic. So now I'm gonna take my elastic and I'm going to measure it around my chest. You're gonna measure it around your chest, like right there. And then if it's big enough, you're going to take your safety pin and you're gonna feed it through the hem. Here, let me show you. I'm gonna take my safety pin. Can you see that? There's the focus. Oh, I love when it does that. I'm gonna take my safety pin and put it through the elastic so I can feed it through this. This is gonna take a second. I'll be right back. Hey guys, so this is the finished product. This is what it looks like. This is the top. And these are the bottoms. This was a pair of sweats. And now it's a two-piece set. My boobs barely fit in this, though. So if you have big boobs and you're thinking about doing something like this, you might need extra fabric. I think it's so cute. I'm gonna wear this to bed tonight. All right, that is the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.